Yo, yo, yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Lemon and welcome back to another video. So guys, after a long awaited month, we are now back to GTA 5. If you haven't been updated or don't know why I took a long, long break, and that was because I got temporary banned. Um, so the reason why I think I got temporary banned because Profit, who did the same amount of mods as me, if not more, I did more actually, but um, did not get banned. So um, it was actually the Loy menu or Loy L O Y Y menu. That menu actually is my belief on why I got banned. Simply because, like I said, Profit didn't get banned. I downloaded it to see for you guys um, if it was a good one because I heard about it. Used it for like 15 minutes, if that. I didn't like it at all. Next thing I know, I get an email saying I'm temporary banned and everything is lost on my account. So I see this as a blessing in disguise and I'm not going to use a mod menu for money or anything like that. I want to do all natural, which is actually a good idea on the YouTube wise standpoint because I can make a series on how to become rich and successful in GTA 5 online. So guys, this is going to be the start to the new series and I hope you all enjoy it. I'm going to be working hard at it. Um, I've already been grinding a little bit, but I got some tips for you guys and I'd say we can get into the video I know it's been a while um I haven't been like I, I took a, a long break I haven't been consistent usually I did two or three a week just simply because I've been really busy this summer um so far I've been working like non-stop I'm so busy still I still have to do so much stuff I'm so behind not only on YouTube but just side businesses I'm a hustler guys you know anyways um, let's get right into the video So guys if you're just starting out and you're wondering how to make a quick buck on GTA 5 online my recommendation to you would actually be to rob a, a Convenience store when you rob a convenience store you want to shoot for intimidation as you can see at the bottom right uh, You want to intimidate him and you actually get a fairly good amount of money 2,400, uh, $1,948. So when you rob, you can get anywhere from $500 to $3,000 at a convenience store. And if you're just starting out, this can actually be really, really helpful to you. Simply because this is a two star, like easy. Two stars are easy to get out of. I'm basically out of this already. And I just made myself less than two thousand dollars a little bit less than two thousand dollars in about a minute and a half two minutes um i'm pretty sure the first time you rob it's more than the second and third time but like that's still a good amount like you can't be telling me that it's not so that is my number one tip like do all the convenience stores you'll get a decent amount of money to start off Second of all is to find a CEO to do work for or register for a VIP like um, As you can see in the bottom uh, Left you saw people register for CEO. I actually think reverses in this lobby. I'm filming a video right now So he's not quite sure, but we're gonna stream after anyways You can see that people register for CEOs when you see that happen you can always Go on your interaction menu, you go to services, oh, no, no, no. secure serve, looking for work on, and then that just lets all the CEOs know that you're looking for work. And you know, it might not happen right away, but I guarantee you someone will eventually hire you and you will do some work for them and get some money. Um, same thing with the VIP, it's the same idea. Um, you know, they're easy, not easy, but like, it gets you money, gets you decent money in a decent amount of time. It might take you a long time to get the million dollars working for someone, but I guarantee you eventually you will get it. Um, another thing you can do is save all your money, like 
um, to buy a CEO building. Like, CEO buildings help you out so much. Whether you're doing special cargo, the vehicles, like that, the vehicles are a little bit more money, but the special cargo, like, you can pick everything up for less than like 1.8 million. I know for a fact. I'm pretty sure the other one was like the smallest warehouse, cheapest warehouse is either anywhere from 200 grand to 500 grand. I could be wrong, but it's in that ballpark around that. So like that and that can make you your money back within like an hour of grinding, even less, but let's just say an hour grinding, depending how new you are to the game. Like that helps you out and boosts you so much. Guys, like trust me. It boosts so much as you can see I'm still getting notifications because it's like my second session playing um, since I've gotten banned all right guys number four is do heists like I know this may be obvious but like do the heists like yeah they might be a pain yeah like it might take you a while but you get your money's worth especially if you do the heist setups with people Sometimes if you stick through the whole high setups and you do the heist with them They'll give you a little bit of a bigger cut with a bigger cut and a first time high setup bonus That's pretty good money. Like you can get yourself anywhere from 300,000 to 300 400 500,000 sometimes even over a million depending which heist you're doing if you're with high level people or not like that stuff is actually a good way to get money you could host High setups, be the high setup uh, heist leader, like host heist. But like you're gonna need to buy a high end apartment. You're gonna have extra cash, at least one to two hundred thousand to set up the heists. To be honest, I feel like it's just better to do the heists um, as a worker first. Once you have some money to deal with that later on, guys. And my final um, tip. Well, not my final tip because I have a lot of small tips, but another tip I'm giving you, like my fifth, like biggest topic is like not everyone will do it, but like it's a big booster if you're willing to buy a starter pack. I know when I got this, I bought the criminal enterprise starter pack because it was on sale. And honestly, guys, it got me this car. It's a little bit messed up, but this car is stock see me driving around it's actually pretty fast it's stock you get this car the ceo building this house and a couple other things that um i know um are like that that they give you but oh and a million dollars too so that million dollars i had a million dollars i have five hundred thousand now because i've bought in the uh warehouse so the warehouse might be closer to five four or five hundred thousand um, I bought in the warehouse, I bought in guns, ammo, stuff like that, but still, they help out a lot. Like, it boosts you a lot if you're not willing, or if you're willing to grind, but you're just not willing to do all that work just to get that first million dollars. Like, that is something where you can do. Alright guys, now for my, like, tip that I was, um, like, wanting to tell a lot of people, um, a lot of people they do not like a tip but like uh like something you can do to make your money but it's a tip i when you're starting out one thing you want to do a lot of people like in this game is get a nice car fix it up put some upgrades on it but to be honest guys if i were you i wouldn't put any upgrades on your car starting out anyways um believe me when i had my other account i was like had all the cars everything like that i loved it but uh it's just not you know affordable it's not the smart financial decision when you're starting out in the game when you spend like 200 grand upgrading your car or even like 50 to 100 because that's money you can spend on a gun on like going towards a um possible like vehicle cargo like warehouse like all that money adds up so 
my advice to you like i said is just just like try to save as much money as you can at the beginning you want to make that a first amount of money so you're actually good and you can afford the nice cars after like think of it if i save up all my money don't upgrade my cars for the vehicle cargo warehouse right eventually that wheel vehicle cargo warehouse makes me a lot more money so i can make a lot more money now and then i can use that money to spend on upgrading the cars buying nicer cars in general like just trust me it's worth it to wait and save like even look at this i could buy a high-end apartment right now but i'm not because i'm gonna wait until I'm, I'm saving right now for a vehicle cargo because that makes me the most money it's a smarter financial decision in the game even to like once you can guys get a nightclub nightclubs make you so much money like trust me these small things add up to make you so much money so that's basically it for this video guys please smash a like could we hit 10 likes for this video um don't forget to subscribe if you like my content like to this video if you're new and remember i will try my best to post i'm trying my best you gotta stay with me thank you so much for watching guys it's your boy lemon peace out